After some fantastic feedback, I'm back to break your back as Pat back. Here's a new tutorial. Haunted Onion here, and today I'm going to show you how to install SKSE for Skyrim slash Skyrim Special Edition in 2019. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You click the, your mouse a few times, that's it. So first of all, you see this. This is a current build, this is Special Edition, and this is VR. If you have VR, you click this. If you have Special Edition, you click that. And if you have the normal edition, click this. I'm clicking 7-zip, you can do it via Steam, or via whatever else. I prefer the old-fashioned way. Head over to your downloads, and you'll see this. You won't have Extreme JPEG, I'm sorry. So you see this file. I use 7-zip, so, in the context menu, I click Extract Files. There are no viruses, there's no need to worry. It's perfectly fine. And you'll see this. Once you're inside, you see data, source, some text files, DLLs, EXEs, and uh, your house. So, data, you need that. Source, you only need, it, need that if you're making mods. You need the DLL, you need the executable, you need this other DLL, these text files you do not need. For the average user, copy these. If you're a modder, copy source also. So, click copy and then go to where Skyrim is hiding. In this case, it is the D drive. So x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and find Skyrim. So you see it there? And hit paste. Since this is a brand new install for me, I don't have my INIs generated yet. When you do this, I highly suggest you have run the game at least once before, so that you have INIs. INIs are configuration files that go in your documents and inside your game directory. And once it is pasted in here, that's it. If you want to run the game, you run tesv.exe. Some people have mentioned errors where, when they run it, it'll say, Oh no, you cannot do this. Well, that's because I just lied. Because you actually run it off skseloader.exe, not this. From this point on, you will run it off of skseloader.exe. If you want to check that skse is indeed installed, all you have to do is look in your file path, see skse there, skse there, skse here, skse everywhere. Skse is inside your game. I'll put up a little video clip after this showing what it looks like when you run the game. You can enter a cool little console command and it'll say, Hi, you have installed, yay! It'll, it won't say that directly, but it'll paraphrase that. So, off to that clip. Okay, once you get to this, type get skse version. And it'll say skse version 1.7.3 or whatever you're running. As long as it says this, it worked. There you go. There you have it. Once it works, I guarantee you will have this exact expression of satisfaction on your face. Anyway, I hope this helped. If you have any issues, let me know in the comments. If you want your comment to appear in the next video, leave me something that will get lots of likes and insult me. And have a good day.